This is the cheapest tube microphone I own, the Avatone CV12. Known for capturing the vocals of Taylor Swift's 1989 record-breaking album, the warmth and colouring of this tube circuit offers a sound that's unlike any other at its price point. For vocals, most of your favourite artists use classic tube designs, but since we don't have their budget, we're going to have a look at a few proven tube microphones perfect for vocal recording in your home studio. So, for most home studio owners, tube microphones are unknown territory. I understand that FET microphones are more affordable, but in terms of sound, tube microphones hit different. Today, we are focusing on five budget tube designs ranging from $400 up to $1,500. As mentioned, the CV12 is the cheapest, coming in at $400. In the box, you get a metal case that opens up to a few accessories including the two power supply offering nine polar patterns, cables, a metal shock mount, and a wooden mic case that opens up to the CV12 itself. A tube microphone needs its own power supply to function. Metal case, wooden case, power supply, shock mount, extra cables, these items unfortunately play a role in the total cost of the mic. But for only $400, included roll-off and attenuation, this CV12 is a good deal. Deal. Moving on, we have the WA251. Acting as Warm Audio's $700 recreation of the $11,000 classic, the 251 offers nine different polar patterns, cables, a metal shock mount, and a wooden case. If you think it looks good, wait until you hear how it sounds. At $999, we've got the recently released Pure Tube by Lewitt. This mic is offered in both an essential and studio package with a more expensive studio package including a pelican style case, shock mount and magnetic pop filter. The Pure Tube only offers one card weight polar pattern but it's so well built and once it's set up it's clear this microphone means business. Next up we've got the WA8000, another more affordable recreation of a studio classic. This was my first tube microphone and I don't think I'll ever forget how blown away I was was the first time I used it. The plastic card case opens up to a similar layout as that of the WA251 but only offers two polar patterns on the mic itself. The K67 style capsule, the 6AU6 tubes and the Landau transformer make this a microphone you want to keep an eye on. And lastly we've got the Telefunken TF39. At around $1500 this microphone has a solid build offering a zip case that opens up to a classic looking three polar pattern power supply, metal shock mount and a few other accessories. You can buy almost four CV12s for the price of one of these so I'm guessing it sounds really good. Now when it comes to setting up a tube microphone it's always better to power up the mic at least half an hour before you start recording. This will ensure that the tube inside is warm and ready to go. These mics have been warming up for 45 minutes now, so I think it's a good time to start the sound test comparison. Oh, I'm a mess right now, inside out, searching for a sweet surrender, but this is not the end. I can't work it out. out. Going through the motions, going through us And all I've known it for the longest time And all of my hopes and all of my words Are all overridden on the sign When you're in my road, walking me home
Go put your faith in my stomach now. Oh no. Searching for a sweet surrender, but this is not the end. Searching for a sweet surrender, but this is not the end. Searching for a sweet surrender, but this is not the end. Searching for a sweet surrender, but this is not the end. Searching for a sweet surrender, but this is not the end. Is it, baby? Maybe I'm a liar. 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 Now, this reminds me why I love tube microphones. They just sound so, so good. The WA. 251, 8000 and TF39 really stand out in terms of tone. The Lewitt and CB12 sound quiet neutral. In terms of build, the Pure Tube and TF39 are miles above the rest, especially with Warm Audio's questionable quality shortcuts sometimes. I guess the question is, which mic would you pick?